locate the vehicle speed sensor and mounting bolt on transaxle assembly. Using an appropriate tool loosen and remove the mounting bolt of vehicle speed sensor. Detach the vehicle speed sensor from the transaxle. Locate the gear neutral sensor and mounting bolt on transaxle assembly. Using an appropriate tool loosen and remove the mounting bolt of gear neutral sensor. Detach the gear neutral sensor from the transaxle. Locate the reverse switch on transaxle assembly. Using an appropriate tool loosen and remove the reverse switch. Locate the shifter tower and ensure the shifter is in neutral position. Using an appropriate tool loosen and remove the shifter tower mounting bolts. Insert the screwdriver to break the sealant bond and detach the shifter tower from transaxle. Position the transaxle housing to access the transaxle housing rear end plugs. Plug. Using an appropriate tool loosen and remove the rear end plugs from transaxle housing. Housing. Rotate the transaxle to locate the clutch housing then using an appropriate tools loosen and remove the front housing to rear housing mounting bolts. Bolts. Using an appropriate tools loosen and remove the front housing to rear housing mounting bolts. Bolts. Position the transaxle as shown and using a mallet slightly tap around the front housing then detach the front housing separately. Separately. Position the rear housing as shown and attach the axle assembly separately. Separately. Slightly aside the counter shaft and remove the idler shaft assembly with rail and fork from rear housing. Remove the idler shaft rear and bearing side selective shim from rear housing. House. Position and refit the front transaxle housing on rear housing. Rotate the transaxle to access the shaft's rear end bearings holding snap rings. Rings. Using an appropriate size snap ring plier expand the input shaft rear end bearings snap ring and then using a mallet slightly hit around the rear housing to get the snap ring release. Re Remove the plier and install the snap ring plier to expand the counter shaft rear end bearing snap ring end and using a mallet slightly hit around the rear housing to get the snap ring release. Lease. Detach the rear housing separately from the front housing. Remove the oil slingers from the rear end of the input shaft and counter shaft assemblies. Ensure all gears of input shaft and counter shaft are engaged and locate the input shaft and counter shaft rear end bolts. Bolts. Install the holding tool input and counter shaft MST on both shafts rear end bearings. bearings. Using a suitable size Allen socket spanner, loosen the input shaft's rear side mounting bolt by rotating in anti-clockwise direction. Action. Using a suitable size Allen socket spanner, loosen the counter shaft's rear side mounting bolt by rotating in clockwise direction. Direction. Remove the both shaft's rear side mounting bolts separately. Separately. Remove the holding tool input and counter shaft MSD from both shaft's rear end bearings. Bearings. Remove the counter shaft and input shaft assemblies with rails and shifter forks. Detach the rails and shifter forks separately from both the shafts. Afts. Locate the input shaft oil seal on the front housing and using a suitable tool detach the seal from the front housing as shown. Down. Install the new input shaft oil seal on dolly input oil seal MST and install oil seal on the front housing as shown. Slightly tap the dolly using a mallet then remove the dolly and ensure the proper seating of oil seal in front housing. Housing. Locate the drive shaft oil seal on the front housing and using a suitable tool detach the seal from the front housing as shown. Shown. Install the new drive shaft oil seal on dolly drive shaft oil seal installation MST and install oil seal on the front housing as shown. Slightly tap the dolly using a mallet then remove the dolly and ensure the proper seating of oil seal in front housing. Housing. If using a new front housing heat the front housing with suitable heater to 45 degrees Celsius and install the new counter shaft front bearing without inner race on the front housing as shown. 
Cho. Install the bearing install counter shaft front housing MST on front bearing and using a hammer or hydraulic press install the bearing properly on the front housing then remove the MST. ST. If using a new front housing, install the new shift rails bushes, dowels and linear bearings using the installation housing linear bearings and bushes MSTs with appropriate adapter and hammer as shown. Shown. Locate the axle assembly bearing outer race on the front housing, then using the removal tool differential taper roller bearing outer race MST and suitable size 2 outer jaws puller, remove the outer race and MST separately as shown. Partially install the bearing outer race on the front housing and using the installation tool differential taper roller bearing outer race MST with suitable hammer or hydraulic press install the outer race properly. Properly, locate the axle assembly bearing outer race on the rear housing then using the removal tool differential taper roller bearing outer race MST and suitable size 2 outer jaws puller remove the outer race and MST separately as shown. Shown. Remove the shim separately from rear housing. Housing. Install the appropriate size shim on rear housing. Housing. Partially install the bearing outer race on the rear housing and using the installation tool differential taper roller bearing outer race MST with suitable hammer or hydraulic press install the outer race properly. Prop. If using a new rear housing. Install the new shift rails bushes and linear bearings using the installation housing linear bearings and bushes MSTs with appropriate adapter and hammer as shown. Locate the drive shaft oil seal on the rear housing and using a suitable tool detach the seal from the rear housing as shown. Own. Install the new drive shaft oil seal on dolly drive shaft oil seal installation MST and install oil seal on the front housing as shown. Slightly tap the dolly using a mallet then remove the dolly and ensure the proper seating of oil seal and rear housing. Housing. Align and refit the shifter rails forks and refit the rails and shifter forks on the input shaft and counter shaft assemblies. Sem position and refit the input shaft and counter shaft assemblies with shifter fork rails on the front housing as shown. Install the holding tool input and counter shaft MST on both shafts rear end bearings. Apply the Loctite 638 on the rear end bolts and install the bolts on the shaft's end. Ensure all gears of input shaft and counter shaft are engaged and using an appropriate tools tighten the counter shaft rear end bolt to 60 to 65 newton meters torque in anti-clockwise direction. Rec using an appropriate tools tighten the input shaft rear end bolt to 85 to 95 newton meters torque in clockwise direction. Direc remove the holding tool input and counter shaft MSD from both shafts rear end bearings. Bearing. Position and refit the oil slingers on the rear end of input shaft and counter shaft assemblies. assemblies. Partially install the rear housing on the front housing as shown. Show. Position the transaxle assembly to locate the rear end locking snap rings. Pre Using a suitable size snap ring plier expand the snap rings then slightly tap the rear housing using a mallet to get snap rings partially latch on the shaft ends as shown. Shown. Rotate the transaxle assembly to locate the input shaft front end and slightly tap the input shaft using a mallet to get properly latch shaft end with the snap ring. Detach the front housing separately from the rear housing. Thing. Slightly tap the counter shaft front end using a mallet to get properly latch shaft end with the snap ring. Ring. Check and ensure the snap rings are properly latch with the shaft ends. Ends. Position the rear housing and install the appropriate size shim rear housing as shown. Shown. Slightly aside the counter shaft and refit the idler shaft assembly with rail and fork on rear housing. Thing. Support the rear housing with suitable block and refit the axle assembly on the rear housing then remove the supporting block separately. Lay. Apply the Loctite 5188 as per the recommended pattern on front housing and partially refit the front housing on the rear housing as shown. Shown. 
using a mallet slightly tap around the front housing to get properly installed. Stalled. Rotate the transaxle assembly and tighten the mounting bolts to 25 to 30 newton meters torque. Torque. Rotate the transaxle assembly and tighten the mounting bolts to 25 to 30 newton meters torque. Torque. Rotate the transaxle assembly to locate rear end cap bolts location. Apply the Loctite 5188 on the rear end cap bolts then using an appropriate tool install and tighten the rear end cap bolts to 12 to 16 newton meters torque. Torque. Rotate and position the transaxle assembly to refit the shifter tower and apply the Loctite 5188 as per the recommended pattern on the housing and partially refit the shifter tower. Or Refit the shifter tower mounting bolts and tighten the bolts to 25 to 30 newton meters torque. As torque, check and ensure the shifter tower movements and operation. Operation. Position the transaxle assembly then install and tighten the reverse switch to 25 to 30 newton meters torque using an appropriate tool. A tool. Refit the gear neutral sensor and tighten the sensor mounting bolt to 7 to, to 7 to 12 newton meters torque using an appropriate tool. Position the transaxle and refit the vehicle speed sensor then tighten the mounting bolt to 7 to 12 newton meters torque using an appropriate tool. Tool. 